Hello everyone, and welcome to this unboxing video for Kingdom Death Monsters 2019 March Order. This time around, we've got the Death High Twilight Knight and the Swashbuckler, the first generic model with mechanics. All right, I'm gonna get to the Death High model first. So, this one is honestly really interesting looking. And I believe I just missed out on getting a first run order like it was like the previous time I mi just missed out. Oh, it's in my cart. Oh, hey, I placed the order. Oh, hey, it's sold out. Also, I really don't care as long as I get it in general. Which, at the time of recording this, it's actually in April and I just missed out on the Death High model that came out with Easter. Hopefully I'll be able to pick that up later. So, here's her close-up art card. And here she is in general. So, she's got her bag strapped with the normal bluish-green lantern light that most of the Twilight Knights have. She's got straps on her that kind of represent the same, and she's got a hooded outfit. Also, to make her more clear that she isn't like the others, she's got a different color scheme from all of the others. So, again, one space model, two pieces, and this is 3D printed plastic mix. She is three pieces, ah, as I'm uh, worried that I, like, I'm just like, oh god, I almost broke the hair off. She is her main body, which this is a majority of it. I apologize about the focus. I can no longer manually focus my camera, at least while recording. Still similar design overall compared to the rest of the female models, uh, and she's got her hair kind of flicking off to the side. I, there was a piece stuck on that. Particularly this one and the opening there. So that's why I was concerned. This is one of her arms and it is just from here to here. There's no hand. And it's a scarf-like thing hanging off of it. And then the Twilight Sword with her other arm almost entirely. It's missing basically just the shoulder being held and that fits behind her back. So it's actually going to go that way. I, again, I love these models, but not as much as I love something about the upcoming model. Nothing visually, just the thing I mentioned earlier, generic models having mechanics. In this case, it is a piece of gear. Now, like all the other models that have mechanics, she's a hard plastic. Because I don't think any resin or 3D printed models have had mechanics, not counting Till Death Do Us Part, because A, that was prototype, and B, that was the first one of the 3D printed models. So this box is a little different. Both the art design is great because it's her image with the silhouette of the blacksmith or the cyclops over it. At least I think that's who that is. It does say she's generic and the swashbuckler. Image wraps all the way around. Yeah, that's definitely not the Cyclops. That's hands for wings and not the Phoenix style either. I wonder what that is. Regardless, it's red and it opens from the top, which is different than a lot of these single models. So I don't believe this one had a first run. I could be thinking of a different order actually. And here is her full art image. She doesn't come with a small art card. She just comes with her model and the card. I'll get to the card after the model. She is, ooh, she is a one base model as with most of the representing a playable character of sorts, but no topper because she has her own custom base with booty, which she also has actual booty, um, like most of the female characters. So, she is all over the place. I'm actually, because I'm looking at something here, I'm wondering if there is an customizable pieces, but somewhere, and it could be the coat she's got hanging off her back, is a skeleton hand coming out of a sleeve holding a gun. Ah, and there's another one. Yeah, that's definitely the coat itself. But here's, like, she's got a cutlass. Don't know, I think that's part of her hat. Yes, with feathers in it and everything. There is majority of her. 
Yay, the boobs are not a separate piece. I don't actually really find a complaint in that. I just find it comically odd. And she is just all over the place. She also has the same style of pistol in her strap on her leg. And I love the detail in that cloak. You can even see. Oh, hey, thanks, camera. I'm going to actually take advantage of that right now and try to show off more. There you go. Again, like I said in one of my mini crate videos, my camera focus is not only not able to be operated manually anymore, it's a lot more sporadic after the update of the software that I use. But that, that's the entire model. She's on a sprue, which is always nice. Not, oh, hey, is there stuff missing? Because I found another model in which there was a missing part. Still need to get around to contacting them about it. So the gear is the coat. Oh, and the guns are definitely there. The Corsair coat. Item, leather, metal, other. Many of the promo or, well, other items are other. Which, as you can see, has a red left and right affinity. One of them looks like it's cut off a little bit more. A blue bottom affinity. And two armor to the body. It's ethereal, unique, and an accessory. And I'm going to... Now, pull it away from the camera so I can read the rest of this. And its bonus, which is all three of those same affinities on this one completed, so puzzle pieces, red, red, blue, has an attack. Unwieldy, range 5, after moving from a dash, the coat fires its guns. It attacks with this profile, ignoring your attribute modifiers. So, a 4 speed, a... 9 plus accuracy, not very likely to hit, and I don't even remember what unwieldy is, and an 8 strength. Not a bad item, actually. And then, we've got the stuff on the back on how to get it, because it's not a promo item. When a savior shares a well-told dream during Weird Dream, add the corset coat rare gear to the settlement storage. Ethereal, a survivor must be insane and depart with a savior who can't use other to wear it when the settlement has no survivor archive this hey look they're trying to give better reason to have saviors because honestly since 1.5 i feel that they kind of need it but they're still good they're just basically glass cannon one shots if you're lucky you get to use their special ability twice and then they're definitely gone regardless that's everything for this video i hope you enjoyed if you did feel free to press the like button if you think somebody else will enjoy this Feel free to share this video. Regardless, you'll help this video get seen more. If you didn't like this video, go ahead and press the dislike button. I won't mind, but please leave a constructive comment as to why. Also, if you want to comment in general, feel free to, such as anything about these models, other Kingdom Death models, if you want to see these models painted earlier than my original intent, or anything else along those lines, go ahead. And if you want to see more like this, be it unboxing videos, board game overviews, or painting videos, all three of which I do for Kingdom Death Monster, and anything else that I do on this channel, feel free to subscribe. Regardless, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.